Welcome to WHM Mailbag, everybody. I'm Andrew Jupin alongside the whole gang, Stephen Sadak, Eric Siska, and Christopher Cabin. This is the October Mailbag, I should say. Yeah. Um, so hopefully, I haven't seen these yet, I hope. Chris Cabin, you selected some spooky letters this time around. Oh, oh I got some spooky ones. <laughs> oh, some spooky ones? Okay. Plugging up top, by the way, this is it's the ass end. It's the professional term, the ass end yes. of October. Yes, it yes, is. of Bextoberfest, and we are plugging <laughs> oh, Bex Jesus. beer. Oh, my God. With me a deal, no one else. Wow. I'm the only person that drinks it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's for sure. Darn tootin. Uh, no, we are here uh, to read letters, but before that, we are going to plug the fact that the very beginning of next month, starting the 6th yes, of so November, mm -hmm. uh, the West Coast Tour, everybody, we will be in San Francisco that night. Uh, talking about The, the rock. rock. There the we rock. go. Yeah. Tickets are still available for that show. Very few, yeah. I hear. Yeah. That's what I keep hearing. Very They're few. flying fast. They're flying <laughs> fast. And then the next night, we also have some tickets available in Portland, Oregon. We're going to be right. talking about the Kindergarten Cup. I actually just rewatched that because we, we I'm trying to get ahead of some of these watches. Look at that's you. That's gonna huh? be a fun. Uh, that's gonna be a fun one. I can't wait. I got too many beer cans here. Lead villain, huge ponytail in that movie. Oh, oh man, enormous ponytail. What is his name like? Crisp or something? It is crisp. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to fry you, crisp. <laughs> you will be terminated. And then, uh, so then we are shuffling down to Los Angeles, and Sunday the tenth. New information has come to light here, everybody. Mm -hmm. Two shows. The president now. has been shot. <laughs> right. Oh. <laughs> uh, no. Nope. 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 No, government. Nope. That's satire. That is satire. Thank <laughs> you. Uh, no. 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 But we have the sold-out show talking about the Karate Kid. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Sold so out. No tickets available. Sweep the leg. You fucking lost. <laughs> Jesus. But good news, second show added. Second show uh, yes. added second on show. what, Chris Cabin? That's going to be Teen Wolf. Fuck y yes. Yes. Uh, Fuck yes. Because see that dude dangling werewolf. his dick in that movie? And instead of a late show on Sunday night, no one wants to go to a show at 9.30 on a Sunday Fuck night. Fuck that. This is at 5 o'clock. Yeah. That's right, 5 p.m. So 5 o'clock and 7 o'clock are the shows. The new one is 5 o'clock. Tickets are on sale for that. Dude, you go to a late boozy brunch, you roll right into the Hollywood Improv. Exactly. Fuck, that is a day. If you already got tickets to kindergarten, <laughs> kindergarten, karate, the karate, karate cop. Karate <laughs> cop. Oh, that's a movie I want. <laughs> karate Kid. If you already have tickets for a yeah. sold out show at the, of the Karate Kid at the Hollywood Improv, come to the other show. Double yeah. dip. As I recall, actually, there was a restaurant that we ate at across the street from the Hollywood Improv last yeah. time we played there. Uh -huh. It had dips. I remember this. It had oh, dips. Yes, it had some good dips. fucking solid good dips, dude. You get some dips, you get some cocktails, and then you fucking march those cute buns right over to the Hollywood. And Improv. then you're quiet the entire time we're on well, stage. Well, yes, yeah. then and then you're quiet because if you're not quiet, Steve's not going to spit on you. No, 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 that's right. <laughs> Only for the good boys and girls. Uh, so all that ticketing information, of course, can be found on whmpodcast.com. Now, let's get to these letters, and I swear to God, Kevin, there better be some spooky-ass shit in here. Uh, Napoleon Dynamite can't save you. And so I, far, so good. Uh, dear WHM guys, I'm a longtime listener, and I love what you guys do. I've got a quick story You're from welcome. the old college days. Oh, fuck. And prepare yourself for a follow-up question. Um, one evening, when I was a senior in college, my then-girlfriend and I... Oh, I'm sorry. Nice. Uh, sorry it didn't work out. Condolences. Oh. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> you know, oh, you're, better off, you're better off. But a second it. girlfriend has been added. <laughs> <laughs> No, wait, what if it was, he says, uh, my then-girlfriend, now wife. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> You're right. Paragraphs go on. My then-girlfriend, <laughs> now widow. I'm a ghost. <laughs> what? These oh, are spooky. spooky. <laughs> Kevin, batting a thousand, dude, with these <laughs> emails. You. Loving it. Uh, my then-girlfriend <laughs> and I were hanging out at our apartment uh, with our friend Cedric. Uh, something in the, the conversation led my girlfriend into an argument about money, I think. Uh, which oh, turned Jesus. out to be one of the longest, most vicious in our entire relationship. Whoa, dude. Poor Cedric, uh, desperate to distract us from our fight. Poor Cedric. Suggested that we go uh, out to get some uh, drive through and rent a movie and maybe just forget about the whole thing. Man, when <laughs> you're trying Cedric. to tell somebody to forget about the whole thing. Look, Gina Rollins. Look, Peter Falk. Let's just go. <laughs> Let's go somewhere else. By the way, is that a thing you say, get some drive through? I think so. Yeah, get some. I mean, I get. Uh, well, it means. It's, I guess it's just better than saying. It fast means food. going to get drive-through food. Yeah. I guess it's like <laughs> I <you> understand <laughs> what he meant. In this town, you have five options. I guess. Ah, uh, right. Yeah. Sit down Chinese barbecue the drive through, through. Yeah. Right, okay. diner. Yeah. Uh, okay. Got we it. ended up fighting in the car the entire way <laughs> oh, fuck. to the fast Hell food yeah. restaurant, and then 
at uh, and then over at the Blockbuster. Uh, Fighting in the Blockbuster, dude. I've Ooh, been there. Cedric, Blockbuster. Cedric right. wanted to rent Napoleon Dynamite, which had just come out on video, uh, because we heard how funny and clever it was. Cedric's losing points. <laughs> we uh, bickered the whole way back to the apartment as well. God, we don't have money for Napoleon Dynamite. We don't have money for anything. Got Napoleon Dynamite money. <laughs> Jesus. Well, they did. They transferred to bickering, which is a lesser than fighting, yeah. I think. By the way, Ooh. when is Cedric pulling the fucking ejector seat on That's this one, That's a great man. call. You know what? <laughs> Why is there a third wheel to begin with? Exactly. The yeah. second Seriously. they start fighting, it's like, oh, you know what, guys? I got to... T- I just... I don't know. It's Napoleon Dynamite times. I got a beep, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> the cell phones exist. Cedric, it's not about you. We still both love you. <laughs> Cedric, this isn't your fault. <laughs> yes. uh, once there, however, we were uh, at least able to stop arguing for long enough to eat our food and watch the movie. Nice. Uh, but throughout the film... So hold on. This, the timetable's all off here. You went and get... You get the fast food, mm-hmm. then you stick that in the car, then we're going into the blockbuster, Fuck. we're going up and down the aisle. No yeah. way! Yeah, but they put it in the under the hood by the engine. Okay. <laughs> it's, so it's good. <laughs> you, you, you're doing this all wrong, guys. Your car smells and your food's cold. Great. Uh, <laughs> Ice cold Burger King and yeah. Napoleon <laughs> Dynamite. <laughs> What's the deal with his stupid fucking haircut? Why is he dancing like a moron? Oh, it's uh, directed by Mormons. That makes sense. <laughs> No. <laughs> Not a fucking Coca-Cola in the whole film. Vote for Pedro, my arse. <laughs> this is a reference to one of our classic episodes <laughs> on what was, it was, uh, I forget never the title. Never Say Never, never again. again, the That's unofficial right. James Bond film. Check it out. Uh, uh, two pays wagon. <laughs> it was so bad, even though uh, nobody had said a word, Cedric came about halfway through the movie and abandoned us to our fight. I mean, I guess you really wanted to watch Napoleon Dynamite. Bring it yourself, motherfucker. <laughs> what is going on? Uh, Maybe he didn't have a car, and he's always just saying, uh, hey, man, drive through. Right? Yeah, uh, that's right. Yeah, oh, I get it. And shit. he's got nowhere else dr- to go, maybe. Drive oh. through, I think he's trying <laughs> oh, to Oh, to. totally, yeah. dude, yeah. By the way, watch us on YouTube to see that reference Steve that's just sick did. drug rev. Yeah, no, dude. man, oh, now Steve's you gave it away. Bag. <laughs> but who, you, know, you don't know which, which drug true. rev. That's true. Steve was yeah, get to you can get stick and snort and suck and get drive through, or you can get drive through. <laughs> that might be math. What you just did, or drive through. <laughs> right. um, uh, uh, we somehow got through the end of the movie without arguing, and the, but then went right back to it as soon as the credits rolled. Jesus Christ! It's like directed by Jared Hess. You fucking piece of shit! <laughs> You'd think the election of Pedro would have brought <laughs> us all together. <laughs> You got that whole Jamiroquai section? Come on, you gotta something's gotta. Uh, I fucking get hate better. That movie. I gotta. Hate, I, I, I'm actually kind of curious how that movie holds up. I hated it to begin with, and I'm sure I'm right. I was f- okay with it when it came out. Yeah, I saw it in theaters the opening weekend at the Albany Indie Theater, the Spectrum. Spectrum, oh, that's yeah. where I saw it too. Can you and believe it? I <laughs> sat there with just a grimace on my face. The whole, I was like, nope. I saw it uh, at the behest of someone in this room who's a who at the time was a noted video pirate. <laughs> oh. So uh, we might have there might have procured someone in this room. I don't know who it could be. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I don't know. A, a noted video pirate. This is a great said, done it. <laughs> yeah. You say someone in this room and then the lights went out. <laughs> and then they came up and Chris was murdered. Yes. This is a movie called Torrents Out. <laughs> uh, to this day I've only seen Napoleon Dynamite the one time and I am extremely apl- have and I have extremely unpleasant memories of it. I have no idea if this is any quality of the movie or not. It does, uh, because I was so <laughs> distracted by the situation. Have you guys ever experienced a movie for the first time through the lens of a terrible situation that forced, that forever colored your experience of that film? Thanks for everything that you do, and keep up the great work, Nate from Texas. Thank you, Nate. I have two on a really polar opposites. Okay. One was I was going to a trade screening of the Denzel Washington film Fences, mm. And right as I walked out the door, my mother called me to tell me that my uncle had died. Oh, no. So then I still went to the screening, yeah. and the whole time was just like, dead. Dave's dead. <laughs> so that I, I can't yeah. watch that movie anymore. Other time, and I've told this story on the air before, so I'm not going to get into it, but when uh, me and a friend of ours went to see Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, kids were talking, my friend told these dudes to shut the fuck up, the dudes told us that indeed after the film they would murder us in the street, <laughs> and the whole time I just sat there thinking I was going to be killed afterwards. 
<laughs> it didn't happen clearly. I'm they, here, but so that I every time Order of the Phoenix comes around on like you know free form or whatever, I'm just like, oh man, I almost got murdered. <laughs> yeah, that was the Deathly Hallows. Me, <laughs> yeah, dude. Uh, anybody else? I don't. Re- I don't think so. I can't really remember. I had a similar situation. I think it was the uh, God, the Jennifer Aniston J Moore movie. Uh huh. Picture Perfect. Something. Oh fuck! I think uh, that is what it's called. That I I was with a friend of mine who was in a like the uh, like the biggest fight with his girlfriend. And you were the third wheel. She was there. I was just there because like the he drive it, through. <laughs> Not yet. Um, <laughs> no, his mother wouldn't let him go unless I went with him. Oh, uh, okay. This type situation. Like, yeah, because it was early. Was, like, you're young kid. Yeah, yeah, kind of like Chris, you go, on, <laughs> you go on a date with your friend and make sure he doesn't get his dick sucked in if the theater. If they do any funny stuff, interject yourself and make it a three-way. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, nobody's dick was going to suck that night. <laughs> no, that wasn't so happening. Th- so this is the problem with yeah. the screening. That's what colored your view of the film. Well, because they kept on <laughs> snipping at each other during the movie. Jesus. I wasn't really engaged with the material anyway. It doesn't matter, though, man. There's a film on screen. I don't care if it's fucking <laughs> Citizen I, I know, Kane I know. or <laughs> Mobile, the movie that's coming out. There was... Playmobile. Um, uh, and I might have t- told this on the air, but I'm not sure. Uh, a long time ago, it was my freshman year of college, uh, a buddy of mine... Um, Got us tickets. Me, him, and his girlfriend were going to a Halloween show for Tool, and I was like, "That's awesome! Let's yeah. do it." That's and as, you know, the third Maynard poster. James Keegan loves Halloween. Exactly. And I was like, "This is cool." <laughs> you know, Tool is cool. It was like two thousand whatever. Two thousand. They're never not big, cool at, anymore. Never I don't a think. Big Tool guy. I, but I was. These like, are lateralist like, days, my friend. I was like the specific demo for Tool, and it just didn't happen. <laughs> that's <Yeah>. I, I, <laughs> that's actually right? really surprising. Yeah. With the rest of the tunes you listen to, that's yeah. very surprising. I was okay with that Perfect Circle album. Now, I'll <laughs> tell you that much. He picked me up in Westchester. Uh huh. And on the way, it, it's a he, county in New York. He gets out of the car to say, "Hey, man, what's going on?" She's driving. He's like, "Yeah, we just broke up on the way up here." And then we all proceed to get in You're the car. For some dudes. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. And we went to this fucking show, and like that sucks. He clearly broke up with her. And she was upset about what it. What is the matter with him? I, don't, I do not know. I do not know. I'm That's not mentioning outrageous. proper names here, but fuck, dude. Did he apologize name. to you? And, uh, maybe, I think he, I think he uh, uh, got me some drive through. We're doing okay. all right. <laughs> <laughs> but I remember. Even better. I remember. And I used to do this as a kid a lot, like just because you'd be on long car trips. But I pretended to sleep both ways. Like nice. It was, and I was in the back seat, and it was just like. Which is actually both good and bad because, like, then not everyone's on their best behavior because he's sleeping anyway. But at the same time, it's like, I just don't want to be here right now. Dude, you just reminded me. One time I was in high school. uh, I went with a coworker from the multiplex. Uh, We drove to a venue in Western Massachusetts to see uh, Beachwood Sparks and The Shins uh, at this, like, ratty club. Mm. And oh, I remember this. And it was so it was me, this coworker, his wife, and then the wife's friend from work. Mm-hmm. And on the drive back from the show, great show. It was like before the shins were famous. Was it supposed to be like a double date kind of a thing or not? So no, much? no, 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 no. I was yeah. Um, it was like me, the coworker yeah. was a dude, and okay. the, the husband and wife. And the wife was really cool. I knew her a little bit. I'd sure. never met the friend before. On the drive back, so it's like Western Mass back to the Albany area, maybe like an hour or so. My coworker and his wife's coworker, friend or whatever, got in a huge fucking music fight over uh-huh. like whether or not Teenage Fan Club was a good band. <laughs> <laughs> this dude, and it was going on, and it was getting heated, and I just like put my head against the window, yeah. like. <laughs> and just pretended to sleep while I listened to these people fight heinously for such a like gentle band. Yeah, like, I don't know, just like either that. or. I don't know. It was a vicious fight over Teenage Fan Club. Anyway, Chris Cabin, do it. Uh, yeah, that's me. Uh, it's a chest burster. All right, okay. Alien reference. Yeah, yeah. Okay, spooky. I've, I've read this one. Yeah, it's it's Ooh. it's for real spooky. Uh, aliens. <laughs> is this your opera, Aliens? Based on the James Cameron movie? Yes, it is. (laughs) Okay. 
Uh, when my friend Jason was around 12 years <laughs> old, <laughs> he drowned in a lake. <laughs> he was really into horror movies and Fangoria magazine, as many of us were. F- 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 Fango. I'm not sure. I was never, you know, I never picked up like a, an episode, like a. I was I never a Fango guy. I think I bought one, one or two of them. Never, never uh, purchased a Fango or a magazine senator. Never, never did it. <laughs> I never. Yeah, I wasn't one for purchasing magazines. Oh, uh, really? Wizard magazine, as you know. <laughs> uh, one year, he saved up and ordered away from the back of the magazine a kit for casting your own alien chest poster out of latex. Cool. Um, yeah. Hey, cool. Gross. Latex. Cool. Real cool. It's what probably good. Wait, super, do, super like, cool. Fuck it. Like, what is the what is the <laughs> well, ending? Latex. Like, oh, well, I don't know yeah, well, we'll get to that, Eric. Right. Oh, oh, oh no. <laughs> fuck me. Uh, the kit came with flesh-colored latex sure that did. you would l- later paint. Ew. Oh yeah. With the excitement and innocence of a twelve-year-old boy, he made the flesh-colored <laughs> rubber <laughs> yep. chest burster and stashed it in his sock drawer. I yeah, see yes, and painted it with his bodily fluids. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I don't have to read anymore. <laughs> That's uh, the end. <laughs> Thanks for writing it. Uh, his mother was snooping in his room and came across the thing, which, like all of H.R. Geiger's design, is unavoidably phallic, even if it is... Oh, good. Oh, okay. That's great. So uh, yeah. uh, uh, if it is a sharp tooth little monster with arms. <laughs> when he came home from school, she confronted him with it, Man. shaking the floppy monster <laughs> in his face. What do you think you are, Richard Gere? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> what? Man. <laughs> what do you do with this thing, you freak? Whoa, you hold on. Freak. If your son is discovering chest bursters. <laughs> yeah, you just got to let it unfold. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, gotta you let have nature to be take okay its with course. this. Ask him if he's being safe. I mean, the dildo with little arms. <laughs> uh, maybe that'd be not. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. There's other other things a little arm could do. Yeah, yeah. It's tickling something. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. You don't know to get it up there. <laughs> <laughs> Can we talk about this uh, chest burster? That's the, that's the <laughs> move. It's just like, so what is? I saw this weird toy in your. You know, I I, I, I would leave it alone. Just like birthing a child. <laughs> mm-hmm. Raising and loving this child just to scream at it that it's a freak. Yeah, <laughs> not a great idea. <laughs> not good. Uh, it's harsh. Although, what, this was the, the 80s, probably? Yeah, that's yeah, also true. Yeah. Uh, he tried so to. he got off light. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he tried to explain, Mom, Mom, it's a chest burster. Uh, but she didn't know what, what that was. Of course she didn't. What, was, she, was she watching Alien? No. I, I don't, don't know. know. Maybe she's reading Fango, I mean, maybe too. Maybe she is. Yeah, that's possible. You never know. Fango Moms right in. <laughs> <laughs> Fango um, Moms. <laughs> Hashtag Fango Mom. <laughs> is that a Tumblr post? <laughs> Hope I meet some Hashtag Fango Moms out in the West Coast. <laughs> Get my picture taken with a Fango Mom. They're out there, dude. They are out They're there. They're totally out there. <laughs> Bango moms. Uh, he didn't know about sex toys, so he didn't understand why she was upset. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he learned quick. Milf, mom, I'd like to fango. But yeah, mom, I mom, know. I would. Yeah, I love it's fango. something. We'll, it's figure a, it out. we'll get there. <laughs> Go on, Chris. Sorry. <laughs> we'll work on it. <laughs> we'll work. <laughs> Next month, we'll come back to it. Sure. <laughs> he was punished and had his dream of the greatest Halloween costume taken away. But despite the years of therapy. For a sexual issue, he didn't have a sexual issue. He didn't have uh, ended up in a special effects career anyway. Ah, wait a second. Oh. Wait a second. Wait a second. The therapy is it's either like now we're either lying or we're making a joke. So no, well, that's the thing. No, that's my question though. Yeah. Is did this mother then be like, "All right, you pervert," yeah. and put him into therapy? It sounds like it. That's not cool. You that's better hope that the psychiatrist was an alien it fan. It sounds like the chest burster was confiscated, and then his time was confiscated to, towards a therapy over this sexual issue. That's but what is the issue? There is no know. issue. Sticking yeah. things up his ass. It's, it's, it's every American's right. Look, as long as it comes back out, <laughs> fuck it. <laughs> so when it comes back out, <laughs> then you fuck it again. Yeah, for sure. That's uh, just stupid. Yeah. yeah. This woman's an idiot. JP, by the way, this guy did not want to do oh, no, no, well. Oh, no, no, no. yeah. And it's a common enough tale. Well, thank you, Mr. Jurassic Park, <laughs> for your letter. We have a chest burster. <laughs> Got up my butt. Oh. Ooh, mommy, let me see the sex toys. Ooh, Ooh that tickled John. Andrew almost choked on that beer. 
Yeah. Which I just want to remind everyone that this is also on YouTube, and you could see that. <laughs> you almost see the spit take. That's a yeah. viral Hot moment. Choking that's action. It's a viral moment. <laughs> <laughs> viral moment. I do like your uh, 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 re- your rubric for uh, a good time, which is so long. Anything can come I- go in so long as it comes back out again. Hey, man, because yeah. you don't want to go to the emergency room. No, exactly. Like, yeah, look, to- this fucking micro machine. <laughs> It you're was fun going in, but it's fucking taking up space. Yeah, your sense of mass should s- be kind of the same. Yeah, exactly. Before now, well, I guess you lose a couple pints of <laughs> ejaculate. But pints? <laughs> pints of ejaculate. <laughs> Holy shit, this is John Holmes motherfucker over here. Look at this guy. I, I mean, oh, I Peter North, excuse me, I slinging <laughs> fucking webs like Spider-Man's it's, Manhattan. It's not an actual hose. <laughs> pints! Well, also, I, will, I should say... The uh, perfect reason to watch this on YouTube is to watch Eric's hand motion as he says, pints of <laughs> ejaculate. <laughs> really lovely uh, stuff. Okay, ounces? Pints. Ounces. You would say ounces, I think. A couple grams. <laughs> 21 grams of <laughs> When you die, did you lose 21 grams of you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. ejaculate? No, Benicio, that's what the 21 grams is. David? It's not your spirit or anything. It's just the cum. David Carradine lost 21 <laughs> oh. grams. Oh, anyway, yeah. yeah. And then he lost 21 more. Uh, okay, next letter. Nice. Mm. American Fraudulence Institute. Oh, shit. Hey, gang. Longtime listener, first time email. Ooh. The recent talk about the AFI and the spectacular season reminded me of a quick antidote I thought might be worth rattling off to you. Rattle away. I'm sure you've all been in the position as the movie expert to various friends and family. That's where I would usually find myself. I'm a little kind of braggart here. Yeah, I'm a bit of the movie <laughs> expert I'm myself. Genius. I know what they're talking about, though. No, it does I, uh, fucking stink, especially around family. You know what stinks is no one cares. <laughs> <laughs> no, no Literally, no one talks to fam- friends, family. No, no. Well, I guess you guys are friends. We're mostly friends. <laughs> <laughs> no one talks to me about movies. Cabin's an acquaintance. I'm more yeah. of a well wisher. Me and Eric are buds. <laughs> that was sick, dude. No, we're buds. Yeah, we get drive through. <laughs> <laughs> All right, where, where was I? Uh, that's where I usually find myself when uh, my pals got too drunk to remember whether or not a whale consum- uh, consumed <laughs> Pinocchio. Not consummated. <laughs> uh, uh, now uh, that's a movie. <laughs> or, or Damn, Disney put this out? <laughs> Oh, my little Pinocchio, you're a bunch of splinter now. Look, as long as it's a coma back out. <laughs> Bet a whale shoots pines. <laughs> oh, no, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's Gallons. actually scallops. I think Gallons. it's quartz at least. <laughs> that's what the ocean is. Marine biologist right in. <laughs> or when my cousin needed to know if Leatherface was a real person like the movie poster said. It wasn't as annoying as it sounds in a pre-smartphone age. Mm. Back around 2006, my friends and I returned home for the summer from our various colleges to re- reunite at a river house. Fuck, it's like the big chill. Mm-hmm. I was about to say what he says next. Like a bunch of little rich boys and girls. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> uh, w- one of my friends was particularly excited for me to meet a friend he had made at school who he brought with him. Which also, if you're, if you're reuniting yeah. with your yeah. high school friends... This is outrageous! <laughs> This don't is bring, outrageous. Don't bring a new person in. No, fuck this person. Yeah. This is a person on the outside of all the in-jokes and the memories and the good times. <laughs> all right, and we'll call them Phil, so we can say fuck, fuck Phil. Phil. And also, like, you're trying to finally get together with Heather, and now this guy's totally it now yeah, yeah, Phil's yeah. fucking fingering her in the fucking <laughs> boathouse, dude. <laughs> Phil's spilling pints in the boathouse. <laughs> Giving her a tasting flight. <laughs> Come on! God damn. <laughs> Uh, the re- Filth. <laughs> I, it's terrible. We delete this podcast. You never heard it. <laughs> Don't let your parents hear this, by the way. Unless your mom's a fango mom. She's, <laughs> probably, <laughs> she's probably pretty cool with it. Hey, man, man fango moms to the front of the line. <laughs> <laughs> let me see your leather face tattoo. <laughs> Welcome to the inaugural episode of Fango Moms. Stand back. Give the fango moms some room. <laughs> <laughs> All fango moms <laughs> to the dance floor. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, that's dumb. That's what they do when they play the Monster Mash. 
So Phil's excited. Okay. Oh, sure. The mm-hmm. reason for the excitement is Phil's granddad was on the board of directors for the a- uh, the American Film Institute. Oh, well, this fuck. is a fucking this is a this is rich a, boy, right? Yeah, exactly. Piece, Piece of, of shit. shit. <laughs> <laughs> Within two minutes of talking movies with Phil, I brought up John Carpenter's Halloween for whatever reason. Oh, that's a good one, he said. Didn't Sam Raimi direct that? Nope. Oh. Fuck you, Phil. See you later. <laughs> Definitely don't finger what's her name in the boathouse. <laughs> Bridget? <laughs> Bethany? What is the character's name? Uh, Heather. 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 There it is. Yeah. For no reason. Uh, I thought I was being set up because Sam Raimi had been one of my favorite filmmakers for a few years at that point. My friends took note of me trying to explain that no, Sam Raimi directed Evil Dead movies and John Carpenter directed Halloween. What is it trying to explain? <laughs> just say it. That's the thing. You're well, mistaken. they're just like disagreeing with him, I guess. Yeah. Like, no, no, no. Sam oh, Raimi he's directed trying to. Halloween. He's got to yeah. plead a case. This is awful. <laughs> Do you, what a fucking horrible situation. Film arguments are the worst. They are awful. Sadly, uh, by the way, uh, Martin Scorsese is correct. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> moving on. 100%. <clears throat> I mean, uh, you know, you can. The list is up. It might be Sam Raimi at this point. They, they might have gotten to him. <laughs> yes, this is. We're recording this a little ahead of time, but uh, you know. I well, you Pedro, guys didn't know. Pedro I, Almav- Alm- Almavadar? Almodovar? Almodovar yeah. just weighed in. He did. He yeah. said they're not characters because they're not sexual. It's the most Almodovar thing he could ever yeah, say. It's, yep. it's pretty, pretty great. great. They need to yeah. fuck more. Yeah. The cool but thing is I am in contact right now oh, really? with a psychic mm-hmm. who's reaching back to find out just what Charlie Chaplin thinks about these Marvel <laughs> movies. Uh-oh. On the next mailbag, I'll weigh in. He's not talking. <laughs> John Cassavetes has a few oh, uh, yeah. opinions. But uh, like y- I've now we're talking about this yeah. real quick. But um, yeah. you can love those movies. Sure. I, love, I love plenty of those movies. But like low, you could love low art without f- demanding it to be high art. Yeah, I I don't don't and, and also like and also like I, you know what Martin Scorsese has earned the right to say I like this movie and I don't like that. Movie. Also like yeah. yeah, and who cares? Who also cares? That's the that's the greatest question is who could possibly give mm-hmm. a shit. Why do these kids care? Like I think it's not just the kids. James Gunn is having like a mental breakdown. That motherfucker's got to <laughs> dial it back. Yeah. He's got to <laughs> dial it right back. Well, he's got to look good in Disney's graces. That's because right. He's of almost course. Booted. I mean, like I just feel like Martin. Sc- if I if I was hanging out with Martin Scorsese and I put on a movie, I'd be positive I'd get it wrong. Like, of oh, course. This is a uh, waste of my fucking time, Stephen. And he would leave. Like you know what <laughs> yeah. I mean? Like yeah. Just, yeah. And that's exactly. And I, I would still respect the man probably even more. Yeah. Yeah, I, that's the thing. It's like having the balls to fucking walk out on you. <laughs> Scorsese is someone you want to kick you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly. Anyway, we're talking about Phil here and his, sure. his wrong ideas. Um, so where was I here? Now, uh, sadly, being at a river cabin, we had no inter- internet access. So it was my word against his. Wow. Could no one <laughs> else weigh in? This is the <laughs> dumbest fucking thing I've ever heard in my life. You need better friends. If no, if yeah. your friends know Halloween, a movie you love, or Sam Raimi, go play. check the boathouse. See what Heather thinks. <laughs> Sam Raimi's your favorite filmmaker at this time, and you didn't force your friends to watch his. his Come movies? on, anyway. it's fucking redonkulous. Of course, my dickhead friends quickly <laughs> decided that if the grandson, the grandson of some AFI dumbass, said it. It must be true. They couldn't believe that I had found someone who they. Excuse me. They couldn't believe they had found someone who knew more about movies than I did, which is mm. <laughs> so. Fuck the AFI. I hope Phil listens to this show and remembers this and knows what his grandfather perpetuates bad intel on films, just like he did. Intel. I, I, this is, <laughs> Phil forgot it. I bet you. Phil yeah, Phil doesn't know what you're yeah. talking about. Yeah. F- you Phil. Yeah. Phil doesn't Phil remember. Phil doesn't Phil? care. Phil, hey, baby, get in here. Yeah. Uh, Heather, come here. <laughs> Remember that time I fucking got that geek about the whole Halloween <laughs> Evil Dead shit? Fucking ripped that nerd a new one. Phil had some drive through on the way there, some drive through on the way back. He doesn't remember this. No, that's and true. And his attention was on Heather, as we all know. Exactly. Right. As we all know. <laughs> and you were there, Matthew, so you know that. Who That's who wrote this letter. But by the way, he goes on to say... What about you guys? Have you ever had an argument about a basic movie fact that you knew was right and get stonewalled by stupidity? Keep up the good work and have a happy Halloween. Yeah, it was called the four years in fucking film school. <laughs> Every yeah. turn. Every turn there was an argument. I don't remember any specific ones. No. I Chris Cabin and I have had our blowouts over the years. Oh, sure. We all 
have had our blowouts, and that's just like young, angsty film guy garbage yep. that eventually you become in a mid thirty year old. And <laughs> You either either it filters out of your system or you become one of these fucking rejects that's arguing about Martin Scorsese and Coppola just on the quote fucking internet. Just quote tweeting everything. It just uh, There's no benefit to it. Everyone likes whatever they like. Yeah. The show is called We Ate Movies, but it's also just, it's an open door. You like it, we don't. We like it, you don't. It's all totally great. Fine. Yeah, it's all totally acceptable. I, I, I still don't understand that whole debate. So uh, I guess we were just talking about movie arguments. Movie arguments. I don't have any specifics because I feel like we've lived s- through so many. <laughs> yeah, that's like a tidal wave. It's okay. just one like huge ball of white light in my brain, yeah. and I can't. Yeah, you know, and so many nights just screaming. A, a lot of it was also while we were like just drunk off when blackout. You, oh like, yeah, sure. the worst kind. Probably of Probably another reason why I don't remember yeah. too many specifics like, about those fights. You wake up in a pile of your own vomit. <laughs> your head feels like it's been in. in advice and you're like what was i yelling about sam fuller i don't know (laughs) something i know that much. totally dude i wake up sleeping in the bathtub and i'm just like i was right about koyana (laughs) scotsy fuck that guy uh all right here we go so let's see uh next one is me that's what grown-ups do Hey guys, I've been a fan for a long time now, and y'all have gotten me through many a tough spot in life. Thanks so much. You're very uh, welcome. I will drink Thanks so much to, to you. That. Yes. You never have to yeah. say thank you. I hope that the the t- drive through to that. <laughs> <laughs> hope the times have gotten better. Uh, I've been thinking about this story for a while now, and I finally decided to let it live a life outside of my head. I was oh god. Well, that's yeah, well, this is a big dark. decision. That's a lot. <laughs> so I hope you're cool with this being on a podcast. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I was 14 growing up in a small suburb of Dallas, Texas. My mom's whole family, though, was in a rural, tiny place in western Kentucky, Eep. We visited with some frequency, and I was fairly close with my cousins who lived there. Undoubtedly, I was closest with my older girl cousin. And at the time, she was 16 to 17 years old, worldly. Worldly at 16? Oh. I mean, to a 14-year-old's eyes. Oh, She sure. probably read Catcher in the Rye or something. Yeah, like, gotcha, gotcha. That's what worldly meant at she that age. She once walked to the county line down by those hollers <laughs> and came back. Lived to tell about yeah, it, dude. Lived to tell about it. You go near it. the McConnell clan, you don't come back. <laughs> uh, <laughs> worldly and knew everything there is to know about pop culture and, of course, boys. She had a steady boyfriend of a couple of years, and they had a date planned one weekend when my family was up visiting. Uh, in true family fashion, she was required to take me along with them. Oh, so cabin situation. Oh, that's right. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. You got cabined. <laughs> the <Lord>. date chaperone. <laughs> <laughs> so semi-reluctantly, my cousin dressed me up in her denim miniskirt and a flashy top, and off we went. She gave me the rules of engagement on the way. Sit in front of us, a couple rows at least. Don't tell the folks anything. If we go somewhere else, you wait in the car. Oh, man. <laughs> you know, the usual. <laughs> Yikes. That's yeah, nice. I know it. It's not worldly. <laughs> it's mean. Yeah. Uh, I was fine with it because we were seeing Freddy versus Jason, and I couldn't be more excited. Wow. Okay. Yeah, sure. You know, it was a big time in our lives. Yeah. Big to everybody was finally excited to see those two monsters meet up. Sure. It's Clash of the Titans. It's going to be garbage, but it's going to be good garbage, maybe. (laughs) Uh, So we met the guy there, and he was nice. He got me a Coke and popcorn, so how bad could he be? I chose to sit one row in front of my cousin and her boyfriend, which violated rule number two immediately. I mean, I was 14 and acting tough, but I was legit scared. Whatever. The movie starts, and naturally, I hear what could only be making out. The very noise. (laughs) (laughs) That's still me. Eric out. is uh, <laughs> auditioning for the Police Academy remake. <laughs> uh, that guy was a treasure. What yeah, a yeah, he was a wonderful man. Michael Winslow. Yeah, mm-hmm. you got forty bucks, you can get him for this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw him. He'll record a cameo for you. I rewatched Spaceballs, uh-huh. and it's better than ever, which is weird. Oh, really? It doesn't make sense to me. Well, I was Spaceballs like, is, is back, huh? Yeah, it's back. Because the he last time it. I watched it, it was out. <laughs> Check it out. Uh, interesting. Um... I knew better than to turn around, so I just focused on the bloodbath of a movie. Then there were the moans. Oh, moans. Someone's not paying attention to Freddy vs. Jason. (laughs) 
nervously. <laughs> How crowded what? is this theater? Yeah, that's a good great question. question. I mean, it's it, yeah, I don't know. Maybe Freddy was Jason opening night. That sounds pretty everyone's big. getting to various bases all over the mm. theater. Uh, West side of Kentucky, though. Yeah. Not enough. Oh, fang- maybe not enough yeah. Fango moms out there. <laughs> <laughs> the Fango moms all went to the preview screening. The radio station. <laughs> they, oh, they got drinks beforehand. <laughs> yeah, at dude. the Fango mom meetup. <laughs> They were big on Foursquare for a while. <laughs> I just now I want to meet some fucking Fango moms. Fango moms, if you're out there, Steve Sadak, we're coming to the West Coast. Oh, they got t-shirts. Uh, nervously, I started to get up and move, but my cousin goes, it's fine. Sit down. We're done. Oh, I promise. Oh, man. Eep. What? I should have known. Oh, I should have known. So I sit again, and the moans are replaced by zipper sounds. <laughs> How many zipper sounds? Uh, honey, I'm really into zipper play. Keep jamming my Franks and beans in there. <laughs> Intense breathing and, you know, the natural conclusion. Oh, man. Pints and pints. <laughs> I was disgusted and frozen in my seat. But no sooner than I began to relax again, than here comes my cousin's hand around from behind me. Held up to my face, and she... W- fucking what? C- come on! What? 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 I'm about to read this, and I almost fucking... The hat almost flew off my head. I'll start over. Held up to my face, and she whispers, Smell that? That's what grown-ups do. Wait, Eek. what? Wait, you're smelling jizz? Yeah, I mean, I guess She lived so. in a De Palma movie? <laughs> Here's some fucking dick cheese smell. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Ew. ew. Never in my life had I been more disgusted, and then the combination of that and the bloodiness of the movie sent me literally running to vomit. Except for bloodiness of the movie. Very <laughs> yes, distinction. Yep. Not just bloody Yes, jizz. good, yeah. good call. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because that guy would have to go to the doctor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, what a great place to be. <laughs> my cousin came to get me at the end of the movie and acted like nothing oh, happened. Yeah. We've never discussed it again, and honestly, I never want to. She's happily married to a non sleaze ball now, and I don't know what happened to the lucky gentleman of that evening. Now, here's the thing. Just because this guy got jerked off in a fucking <laughs> 2003 slasher film nobody wanted to yeah. see uh-huh. doesn't mean he's a sleaze ball. No, I mean, honestly, she's the sleaze ball. Like, yeah. And also, jerking anybody off doesn't make you a sleaze ball. It's the smelling of the hand that you're, Wait, you're yes. turning this into a thing. It's the cousin. It's not the dude. That yeah, no, no, it's the cousin. That's no, exactly. That's what I mean. She, she yeah. the lady is the sleaze ball. So, exactly. The cousin is the sleaze ball. That's why the lady <laughs> is a sleaze ball. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, thanks for listening to this mildly predatory letter from my childhood, and I would love to know if any of your older siblings or close relatives ever grossed you out in such a graphic <laughs> way. Keep up the strong work, gentlemen. No, not those numbers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. One yeah. time I had a chest burster. <laughs> uh, yeah. No, I only have one older sibling that never happened. But this was the cult. This like there was something in the culture where that was a pretty. Co- or what, hand smelling? Go on. Like, like uh, smell my finger, dude. Yes, like, definitely. Yeah, that, there was a smell my thing. finger situation. Mm. The, this is the yeah. sitcoms, I think, did yeah, this one. Yeah, American Pie did a lot more damage. Sitcom did, yeah, yeah. Mm. And, like, Jizz was like a, a, pr- a prop comedy at that point. Yeah. Absolutely. Even Gallagher got into it. <laughs> it's coming back. <laughs> In a big, bad way. <laughs> I bet you... Bud Bundy said smell my finger at oh, some point. Yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. And it wasn't... Left. And it wasn't... That he had done it, he was perfecting some like vat of chemicals that smells what he thinks <laughs> it is you... upstairs. Oh, he's gonna sell it? Yeah. Ted yeah. Bundy did the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, gross. Uh, all right, Steve Sadek, last letter of the evening, and it looks like it just might be pretty spectacular. Uh, Freddy Krueger, teacher. Uh, dear to WHM, uh, as a kid, I was a horror movie coward like me. Uh, and growing up with older siblings, I was unfortunately, for me at the time, exposed to a lot of them at a much younger and more impressionable age. Ooh. One of the main horror movies that scared me was A Nightmare on Elm Street and its villain, Freddy Krueger. Uh, the movie scared me so much that no matter what it was, if a movie opened with the New Line Cinema logo, I would immediately bolt out of the room and wait until the movie started uh uh, started before returning back to the living room to watch. I got the same thing, but with the TriStar horse. Yeah, the TriStar. That thing what? was. A, 
Why? Because I thought it was going to trample me. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you're watching uh, the Lumiere brothers in the theater. <laughs> but it but it wasn't like you saw something that TriStar put out and it spooked you. And so I don't know. Terminator is kind of spooky. Every time the 20th Century Fox logo started, I was always like, is there a Star Wars going to happen right now? Or are, we, are we watching <laughs> Star Wars? <laughs> no, it's my cousin Vinny. All right. Uh, I remember when the Orion, I think... Terminator was Orion, I think. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's not Tristar. Whenever I saw... That's what Terminator 2 is. Oh. Maybe, but Terminator 1 is Orion, originally. Uh, but, like, they also did RoboCop. So whenever I saw the Orion, I was like, all right. We're gonna that was... It was... Uh, I get that for... Um, when I see lambs. Orion, I think Science of the Lambs. Mm. Yeah. My parents decided not to use... Decided to use this fear as a bit of a tool uh, in their day to... to da- uh, in the, uh, 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 my parents decided... To use this fear as a bit of a tool in their day-to-day parenting. There it is. Uh, I was not always the most well-behaved kid. Uh-oh. And would sometimes not want to do the things my parents asked of me. So you were a kid. That's yeah. Fine. So whenever I refused to do something, my mother or father would tell me, if you don't brush your teeth tonight, Freddy Krueger is going to get you. That's so <laughs> fucked up. Uh, <laughs> or <laughs> I'm going to call so Freddy Krueger. He's a him, child, <laughs> a literal child murderer. <laughs> I'm going to call Freddy Krueger and tell him you don't want to go to school. What, does he have a fucking hotline? <laughs> oh, I can't. Henry June, I can't just be coming over to your house three, four times a week. I'm busy. <laughs> <laughs> this is ridiculous. Listen, look. Just put him on the phone. I won't do the tongue thing. I just want, I'll talk to him. I'll get him. I'll talk this kid off the ledge, all right? I'm going to be the dad. I guess you can't be the dad, Dave. I'll step in. Old Fred Krueger is going to play the role of Dave tonight. Your stupid kid can't go to sleep. It's not Fred Krueger's problem. You couldn't wrap it up, Dave. Listen, you're not an Ohio kid. You're fine, okay? You're not. You're nowhere near Elm Street. It's literally... Kids who live on one street, okay? <laughs> it's in the fucking title. I mean, Jeff, it's one cigarette. <laughs> kid had one cigarette. I, look, if I really go over there, this, there's not going to be any kid left. You ever see Johnny fucking Depp after that scene? It was a puddle of nothing. <laughs> yeah, his dad gave me a ring. He wasn't going to bed on time. <laughs> look what I did to that freak. And do you think that dad could use that room anymore? Nope. <laughs> you got to sell that house, Jeff. Uh, sell for a loss. <laughs> <laughs> this would immediately send me into a frantic state where Jesus. I made sure I did whatever task I was asked to do uh, to make sure that I didn't draw the wrath of Freddy Krueger. Yikes, man. As I got a bit older, sh- I began to actually enjoy and watch more horror movies, including the Nightmare franchise, but I will never forget the days of having my parents motivate me by fear. Thanks for wow. the many years of laughter. Kevin. Wow. Do you think like the whole trauma about the New Line logo lasted though? Like he went to see fucking Lord of the Rings, and it just comes up, and he's like, ah, and just fucking had to bolt. You know, and it didn't happen when he saw Mortal Kombat because, the, as you know, yep. once that once the uh, New Line uh, the logo clapper starts, board starts going. starts to come together, you just hear Mortal Kombat. You know, you're yep. watching yeah, Mortal yeah, Kombat. Yeah. That's what that's what it all should have been. Lord of the Rings. <laughs> well, nightmare, because I just rewatched Nightmare. It's that flashing red one. Yes, yeah, oh, I don't that's remember right. any. Any yeah. other movie that's that right, had that. actually. Yeah. Listen, buddy, the only time I come on screen, it's going to be a flashing red uh, logo. I, I wish your parents weren't such jerks. I just, <laughs> he seemed like a really nice kid, is what I'm getting at. Maybe it was a thing, though. Maybe we're talking one of the sequels. Oh, maybe. Because yeah. I don't know how many of them utilized that, the red and black. That was, I think, only, definitely the first one. I don't know about the yeah, second re- one, might I don't have. recall either. I know that, what that second one's happened. a great movie, by the way. It's great. They they really go one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. So well, yeah. Have you problem. guys ever been motivated by fear? Like your parents motivate you through fear. I got something for this. Oh, oh yeah, go ahead. Uh-huh. Go ahead. Is this where your interest in Jason started? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. Well, uh, this is I have to set the stage. Uh-huh. Please. Uh-huh. I grew up with not only my parents but my grandmother and my great grandmother. Just stacked stacked in this house. Yeah, super old Europe. I mean, my great-grandmother, who I grew up with, you know, raised me equal to the rest of the clan. It was very weird. Yeah, sure, yeah. It's midsummer. Go go watch it. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, congratulations on midsummer. You you were great in it, by the way. She was born in, like, 1890. Yikes. So you can't, you know, she's dead. You can cancel her all you want. but um, Sure. (laughs) 
They would always threaten that they would sell me to a traveling band of Romani that would come through performing. Ooh, wow. Which I think might have been an actual peril, peril, <laughs> peril some situation, perhaps, in the right. old country. Yeah. But I believed it. Oh, shit. Really? Oh, wow, I was yeah. always just like, I would like get afraid of like, oh my, like I did it this time. I'm going to hear tambourines down the street. <laughs> And I'm sorry to say that, but that no, that's just what happened. Wow. That's what happened. Yeah, yeah. Well, my parents just yelled, <laughs> yeah. just ye- a lot of yelling. I just love the. I love that idea, though, you man. You're you're just you're afraid of it. Yeah. Are you still a little afraid of it? No. Okay. But I do remember it pretty well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, just, you're I, gonna like be my, kidnapped. Yeah, my mind conjuring what their caravan would be. Oh, right. Perhaps the life would have been better. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they would have been liberators. Take me now. <laughs> they would have welcomed them as liberators. Yeah, on, a, <laughs> on the open road, you know. Yeah. It always smells like hot potatoes. Play music. Go to the drive through <laughs> Anybody else? Str- parents striking fear through pop else. culture? No, just the yelling as well. I'm not going to yep. get into all my childhood trauma today, guys. We don't have the time. No, we definitely <laughs> we don't do not. have the time. Or the interest. No, no, definitely not. <laughs> that is WHM Mailbag for the month of October, everybody. Thank you for writing in. If you want your wild stories read on the air, or if you have a question for us, write it in the mailbag. We all hate movies at gmail.com. That's where you can get at us. Uh, but until next time, catch us on tour. Mm-hmm. Uh, November 6th through the 10th. Those dates, whmpodcast.com. They're up there ready to go. And otherwise, have a happy Halloween. Until yeah. next time, I'm Andrew Jupin. Steven Sadak. Chris Cabin. Eric Siska. Take it easy. <laughs>